Now, from 12 Sports, this is the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Well, welcome into our WPRI studios for the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Taylor has the night off. I am taking the reins this week. Derwin Worrell standing by. We also have Eric Rube, as always, joining us to recap tonight's action. All right, game of the week. I want to shout out my guys here. They held some of my gear as I hopped the fence to leave the game. So those are the true stars. Thanks, gentlemen. All right, we head to the action. Middletown has the ball. Bad snap. It is fumbled. Lincoln recovers in the Lions. They try to get something going. John Nicole over to Ryan Plant makes the grab, gets some extra yardage before a late hit comes in. However, they couldn't capitalize, but Middletown can. Trent Ames gets the carry. Around the corner he goes and scores. Middletown, they blank Lincoln, 21-0. Another big matchup in D3, West Warwick unbeaten on the B side, visiting defending champs Moses Brown. Quakers defense making a statement tonight. Eric Friedman with the QB sack, firing the arrow to celebrate. Then, this is Rube's guy. Miles Craddock went to work. He is back and healthy, running the Wildcat. Takes the direct snap, rolls out, then finds a clear path to the Pater. Defending champs shut out West Warwick, 21-0. A back and forth affair, Central trailing 28-21. Damarian Kine races to the corner for the touchdown. We will be tied up at 28. Fourth quarter, still tied. Ronjai Francis is not going to be denied in the rain. He puts his team up for good. Hendrickson, they escape with a win, 35-28. Great non-league battle, D2 Cumberland. Undefeated on the year, Josh Lima has his guys cooking, hosting D1 North Kingstown. Clippers had the lead in the second half, they add to it. Evan Spencer calls his own number, his third touchdown of the night, 21-3 Cumberland. Skippers march down the field to answer, but it's Andrew Nocera says not so fast. He picks the ball off at the two. He's going all the way, that's 98 yards. Catch your breath, young man. Cumberland stays unbeaten 28-3 over North Kingstown. Barrington at Portsmouth. Barrington puts the first points on the board. And who else, right? Alex McClellan with the QB keeper into the end zone. And they would go up a score early. Portsmouth can't answer on their drive back. Barrington take a dive into the end zone. Mitch Ivins. Fly Eagles fly 40-6 over the Patriots. Cranston West was at Mount Pleasant. First quarter, the Kilties, they have the ball on their own end. Benjamin So it's the handoff, and he is off to the races. No one's catching him. The big fellow showing off his wheels for a Mount Pleasant touchdown. They would go for two, and they would convert. 8-0 Kilties. Cranston West would answer. Keelan Cornell scores just before the half, but Mount Pleasant rolls 46-12. The East Greenwich faithful, they're going crazy on this Friday night. Second quarter, East Greenwich on the doorstep. And they plow this one in. This ties the game at six apiece. Still in the second, Kenneth Jocks is going to take this one to the house. St. Ray's goes on to win 20-7. to seven. Nice win for them. Westerly hosting Woonsocket. Defense was the name of the game in the beginning. Quarterback Landon Husero rolls out to his left, fires a ball that is nearly intercepted for the Novens. They uh, would get some steam here. Husero scrambles out of the pocket, heads to the sideline, reaches for the first down to move the chains. Westerly wins narrowly 24 to 21. We'll send it over to Derwin with some more highlights. Derwin, what do you got? Hey, we definitely had some good night of football. Saw some really good games tonight. Let's head over to Cranston East. As Cranston East, they were hosting Shea. The Raiders trying to get back into the game as quarterback Anselmo Pina tosses one deep to Keandre Silva, who makes an acrobatic catch. Raiders go up, but they can't cash in. Ensuing possession for the Thunderbolts. Quarterback Jaden Chagnon dumps this one off the running back Saquari Monroe, who takes it upfield, drags a couple of defenders to the end zone. Granted, East wins 22 to 14. North Smithfield, Mount St. Charles, co-op hosting Charaho in another D3 matchup. Scoreless game, home team gets on the board. Benjamin Black drops back and finds Taylor Smith out of the backfield. This one hand, one hand grab is nice. He gets a few blocks and watch the defense here as they come up with a big play interception. Northern, the Northmen get the homecoming win 
21 to seven is your final. West Greenwich, a game behind the Davies in second, D4, visiting Smithfield tonight at Bryant. Scarlet Knights with the lead. They dial up the deep ball. Jacob Roberts breaks up the pass there. Nice defense. Taking it down the field. And then Tyler Stanton, not going to be outdone. A few series later, he uses his hops here to get the INT. Scarlet Knights move on to 6-1 with a 28-7 win. All right, thanks, Derwin. Still to come in the Blitz. Rube joins the show. We break down the highlights of Week 7. Stay with us. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. All right, welcome back to the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. As always, Eric Rube joining us, and you're at Moses Brown tonight. Miles Craddock, he's the man. He's your guy. I, I, I said your name, too. I said this Rube's guy. The Quakers are back. <laughs> the Quakers looked back tonight. Uh, impressive yeah. win. Mm -hmm. They were the best team in D3 for the first half of the season. Injuries hit them to two losses they needed to win to get back in the playoffs. Uh, big performance tonight. They looked really good. If they win next week against Pilgrim, they are back in the D3 playoffs. Yeah, and what else tonight stood out to you? I know we were talking about Cumberland a little while ago. 28-3, to big win over NK. Yeah, I mean, Cumberland's been a great team all year. They've been really mm -hmm. winning games up front with the way they played, and to do that against a Division One team, it kind of sets a tone, especially beating a North Kingstown team that Barrington lost to last week. Uh, Cumberland didn't let anything goofy happen at the end of this one. They came in, they dominated from start to finish, and now they're gaining momentum as the D2 playoffs show up. Cranston East. Nice win for them tonight. And, and you know, we've celebrated a lot of these teams, these yeah. programs that have been rebuilding, struggling, getting their yeah. first win. Good for the Thunderbolts. Yeah. They needed one. They've got a bunch of kids who've been working hard. Coach Isaiah yep. McDaniel's done great with that squad. Good for them for going out there, playing tough, and getting their first dub. Yeah, absolutely. God, you love to see it. Alex McClellan with another great game. Barrington really showing what they can do. Yeah, I mean, right now it looks like we're headed for Eagles, Clippers, and the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make my predictions now, and I'm not going to. Uh, you can read those, ProvidenceJournal.com. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh. But <laughs> Barrington's looking good. And uh, I expect them to be a Super Bowl favorite. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, and what are you looking forward to this weekend? we got a couple games. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's going to be a mud bowl at Burville. Uh, 3 o'clock start. They moved the game from yesterday with the rain that Tony said's coming. Uh, so it should be a fun one against the Townies. East Providence needs to win if it wants to make the playoffs. If Burville wins, Townies are done. Awesome. Eric Rube, thank you as always. The man, Providence Journal, always here on the Friday Night Blitz. All right, still to come on the Blitz, Rhode Island games in the rearview mirror. We get over the border into southeast Massachusetts. And we have some coach mic'd up. We love that segment. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. Welcome on back. Rhode Island games there in the rearview mirror. We now head over the border into southeast Massachusetts. Seekonk at Fairhaven. Seekonk, they make a valiant effort on a couple of drives, especially here. Christian Cabral can't convert it into points, but a nice run there nonetheless. Later on, it's Jared Freight. Check this play out. Almost drops the punt, but he picks it up, and he's going to get a first down. Talk about turning something out of nothing. Fairhaven wins over the Warriors 40 to nothing. All right, the final minutes of this game. Voke taking on a Poniquit. Adding to that lead with a textbook 40-yard field goal. Connor McManus for Voke. Poniquit on the answering drive. Closing in on the end zone, but the quarterback throws it. It's picked off by Gabriel Alves, killing the Lakers' chance for a comeback in the final minute of the game. Bears win 23-14. to now it's time for our Coach mic Up segment. Always a fun time going inside the huddle. Here's Middletown assistant coach, Dan McVeigh. Oh man, there it was, there it was, there it was. Oh, nice throw. What a catch. That a boy, Pat. Nice job, Pat. Hey, kill squad, kill squad. Let's go, no points. No points. Let's go, all right? No points, no points. Keep our composure, no points, go get it, nothing, nothing. It's been a long game. <laughs> hey, go cover, right? Discipline. Yes, yes, let's go. Hey, short memory. Hey, quarter, quarter. Stay, 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 stay. Pat, heck of a route. There it is, there it is. Yes! No! 
Watson! Let's go! Great look! Always love the energy. Thank you, Mr. McVay, for taking time to talk to us. Still to come in the Blitz. Check out our band of the week. Stay tuned. The Wendy's Friday Night Blitz continues on WPRI 12. All right, we got the crew here. Welcome back into the Wendy's Friday Night Blitz. Got a couple games this weekend. Tomorrow, a big one that Derwin will be going to. Classical and Coventry. Rube, what can we expect from that game? Uh, Playoff-like atmosphere for sure. Uh, Tony said it's going to be a little wet, a little rainy. A uh, lot of running of the football. You know, I give Derwin credit because it's always raining on Saturdays. <laughs> and he's still always getting the highlights for us. Uh, thank you all for joining us on this week's edition of the Friday Night Blitz. We send you off with our Band of the Week, Cranston West. Have a great night.